Hi everybody, it's Lauren at Crafty Hippie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some basic hinge stamping. Now, I'm aware that I've done a hinge stamping video already with a faded look. Um, however, I haven't actually made a video just simply showing you how to do the hinge stamp technique. So, uh, without further ado, using the Stamparatus and um, three colours, I'm going to create a lovely background for a card. So I'm using the watercolour word stamp set and um, I've taken the word hooray, the sentiment hooray out of that because I think that's really lovely and um, I'm going to um, start. So you basically ink up your stamp and do your first colour which I've used, the blueberry brushel. And you take your Simply Chamois or your baby wipes if like me you haven't got one of those yet. Um, and clean up your stamp. I probably should have done the blueberry bushel last as it's a very strong colour. Simply clean up your stamp and get it ready to ink again. Just going to use some paper towel just to dry that off. And you simply move the, um, the arm down one step and then ink up in another colour. And stamp again. This is quite a big stamp that's actually bigger than the um, hinge itself. So I have got um, the H and the Y overlapping, um, but that doesn't matter. Um, the H and the Y, it, you know, it doesn't, they're not bothering each other. Um, if you, Obviously, if you don't like the fact that there's overlap, then um, go for a stamp that's just a tiny bit less wide um, and you will have a bit of a gap between each one. But um, I really like this look. And I was aware of that when I chose the stamp that I wanted to use. Um, this is why it's a good idea to get the Simply Chamois and not use paper. But um, sometimes you just have to use the tools that you've got available to you. So I think I'm actually going to need to do a fourth colour. So that was the lovely lipstick. And I think we'll do um, some Call Me Clover. And I will turn this background into a card as well, which I will post a link to so you can see the finished article. And obviously don't forget to move the stamp rate down to the next part of the hinge. As you can see, the hooray that's going down the page is um, completely neat and lined up. And that is the point of using the Stamparatus because it's so difficult to do that just by your eye. So that is the hinge technique. It's really simple um, and creates a really lovely uniform look. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.